we're constantly being asked about different types of dream elements. How about a bear? What would a bear represent in a dream? Now, one of the things you got to ask is what type of a bear? Because there's different types of bears. You got polar bears, you got black bears, you got grizzly bears. Black bears, they're usually in the environment and they're probably not going to attack a person unless there's a real reason to. They're, they're not that big, but they can scare you quite a bit. A grizzly bear, that's a huge issue. Now, let's go back to scripture. Bears. Think about a story with bears in it. There's, there's probably the most popular one with bears on it. When Elisha is going up to worship God and these young men start coming out and, and they start making fun. Oh, go up, you bald head. Go up, you bald head. They're making fun of his worship of God. And it says that, the, that bears come out and they destroyed them. Bears often represent judgment. Now, thinking about our modern era, one of the pictures of bears that we talk about is a bear market. When we're talking about the economy, it's when the market, when the economy is going down where it's struggling, there's some type of a judgment on the economy. Well, what, what about different types of bears? What, what if you see a polar bear? Now, if you think about a polar bear, they look soft and cuddly. They're, they're white and they're beautiful, but actually their skin is black. It's probably some type of a judgment that has a religious facade to it because white talks about righteousness to the positive, but to the negative, religiosity. So some type of a religious issue that's a negative. So what about a teddy bear? I mean, if you think about a teddy bear, a teddy bear, or maybe you see a bear and it's just so cute and so cuddly and it looks huge and it looks big, but it's so very friendly. Maybe that's talking about somebody that's in your life that has great strength, that's under control, but actually is going to bring tenderness and compassion. Now, that's probably more of a rare meaning, unless it's actually a teddy bear, which could be talking about comfort, which could be talking about something that feels safe, that sense of safety in the environment. But when it's actually a bear, it's probably not going to be that. But again, your context tells you a whole bunch. You need to pay attention. What is that bear doing? Now, here's something else that we know about bears. Bears hibernate. They often will lay up and they will sleep through the winter and then they come out in a different season. So bears can also talk about issues that hibernate. Maybe they're seasonal issues, something that comes up, but then it almost seems to disappear out of our lives, but it comes back at another season stronger and, and ready to go again. And so it could be talking about cyclical issues that have hibernated for a season and are coming back out. So that's a couple different ideas of what bears might mean. That is an interesting dream element.